I'm Sundancey Giovanni, joined by Chris Puckett, and it's time to jump into another edition of the Stride Championship Series. We've seen great play by some great teams duking it out to see who's going to be named champion, so let's jump into this week's match. Today's match is an epic one, Sundance. It's final boss facing off in blue, led by team captain Walshy, the Ogre Twins, and of course Strongside as the fourth. Yep, and then on the other side, an exciting team triggers down with SK, Fear Itself, my guy Hysteria, and of course the newcomer, Loken. Well, we talked to both teams before the match. Let's hear what they had to say. We're going to be very aggressive against this team. Most teams, uh, we'd like to sit back and get our own setups, but this team is... Uh, they're very good when they get their own setup, so we're going to just try to be very aggressive and catch them off guard. Prediction for the outcome is going to be Triggers Down winning it. Uh, we land with them a little bit ago. Let's just say it wasn't pretty. Well, today's game is going to be Team Slayer on Narrows. Look for teams to control the Mauler in the middle, the Rockets down low, and of course, the ever-important sniper rifles located on both sides of the tunnel. Game begins right after this break. America. I know our stride gum lasts so long, most of you are still chewing your first piece. <laughs> but production's at a standstill, and workers are concerned about their futures, so please, start chewing that second piece. Stride Forever Fruit, the ridiculously long-lasting gum. Well, we're kicking the game off with Hysteria from Triggers Down, one of the most exciting players to watch on the circuit. He's got a ridiculous sniper rifle, and here he picks one up, and he immediately oh. puts it to use on strong side, stopping him three feet from the rockets, and the double kill on Walshy. So all power weapons are down. He's watching it, man can inside, waiting for Fear Itself to pick up that sniper rifle and bring it back to the base. That is a huge opening play here for Triggers Down. You're right, Puckett. That gives them the opportunity to sit back as Final Boss tries to come across the map, and, you know, pick people off, drop shields, let his teammates get the kills. Great open for Triggers Down. Hysteria showing why he is one of the biggest forces in Halo 3 to date. He spots Strongside with the rockets, drops his shields. Woken and SK coming off the respawn are not in position to clean up the kill, but he's sitting back patiently, spots him again, drops the shields. This time SK cleans it up so the rockets are down. Trigger's down controlling two sniper rifles and a rocket now. Ogre 2 pushing in, cleans up Woken, but oh. Hysteria cleans up Ogre 2, and then the no scope on Walshy makes it a 10 to 5 game. Trigger's down off to an exciting start. You're absolutely right, Bucky. They're set up, they've got power weapons. And Final Boss doesn't seem to be have the balance underneath them yet. They're, they're rushing across the map. They're not going as a team. No coordination. And Triggers Down really just sitting back and picking them off. Looks like Triggers Down definitely has a strategy going into this game. They're going to play passively, force Final Boss to play into their hands. And finally, Ogre 2 takes down Hysteria. So that's going to allow Final Boss to make a surge forward. We got Walshy following behind Strongside and Ogre 2. His grenade takes down Loken, now pushing in on Fear itself. If they could take down the sniper, it would be huge. Was not able to. There's Hysteria, finally cleans up another kill. So it's 14 to 9, they're trailing by 5. Final boss pushing in extremely aggressively right here. Walshy was able to take down SK, but he is taken down himself by Loken, the Canadian. Let's hop on board with him now. Now remember, Loken's new to the MLG Pro Circuit, so you never know about those jitters. You know he's been hearing about these teams. He knows who the Ogres are. He knows about Strong Side and Walshy. So we got to see if maybe that affects his gameplay, if, if he's worried a little bit about you know playing against the greatest Halo team of all time. Well, it doesn't seem to be affecting him here. He is playing with confidence as he charges Ogre 1. Getting charged, he drops the grenade, forcing the player back. Perfect grenade there. Nice defensive play, and now he's going to be in a sneaky position. He's going to distract, and he's also going to be cleaning up kills. Oh, and check this out, Sundance. Huge play. He just found the new sniper rifle, so once again, he's going to take it back to his base. Final boss is not going to stand a chance in this game unless they can control those snipers. And check out the play as he takes down Ogre 2. He was cleaned up, but the biggest deal here is Fear itself now has his sniper ammo. That's 20 shots left in his gun. You're right, Puckett. I mean... Right now, Triggers Down controlling those sniper rifles is really throwing Final Boss off their game. And Loken showed us a lot right there. That was an incredibly smart play. He saw the sniper rifle, brought it back to his side of the map for his teammates, sacrificed himself. But now, like you said, Fear Self can sit back and he's got extra ammo to drop shields or go for headshots. Triggers Down in a great spot so far in this match. And he is on a killing spree. Fear itself still yet to die. We're four minutes into the game. He's got five kills, zero deaths. But Walshy, on the other hand, He's got about three kills, six deaths, and he is really struggling to push forward here. 
I think Walsh has got to show us something here. He's got to try and push through. Obviously, his team feeds off of his energy. See him go down right there. But he's got to figure out a way to get through that setup and trigger down. And Hysteria down. is just dominating the center of the map right now. He took down Walshy and then with half shields embarrasses his strong side. Walshy seems to be getting very impatient here, not waiting for his teammates to respond. He's pushing in alone. Well, maybe you can feel the game slipping away. It's 31 to 16. Now it's 32 to 16. Can't let that lead continue to be that large with a grow. Going up against SK, and he's cleaned up by Fear Itself. Perfect teamwork here out of Triggers Down. SK dropped the shields. Fear Itself saving his life with the sniper rifle, and now he is lighting up faces. Oh. There is the double kill for the sniper spree. That's three straight kills for Fear Itself with that sniper, and Triggers Down doing a fantastic job. Their narrow strategy is working out to a T. They've got an excellent setup, just hanging back with that sniper rifle while his teammates go out there. They're looking solid. Getting back into position here on the ramp. Catches Walshy with another headshot. He is one kill away from a killing frenzy. That's ten kills in a row without dying. Looking for players to be sneaking behind his team. There's Ogre 1. He's in the perfect position to catch him. And nice execution. They're taking him down for the killing frenzy. Ten kills, zero deaths. And this game is only ten kills away from ending. Unbelievable start. Who'd have thought right now that Walshy and Final Boss would find themselves 20 kills down in a TS match against Triggers Down? This is phenomenal. Well, here we have Walshy pushing across the man cat, and he knows they got to take the sniper rifle out of the hands of Triggers Down and get it back to their side of the map. He's the only player who I've seen actually successfully make it all the way to the Triggers Down base, and now he's sneaking in on Fear itself. And he's able to take him down, ending that 11 kill spree, but Hysteria immediately takes down Walshy, triggers down right back in control of the power weapons, and they're only 5 kills away from ending this game, an embarrassing final boss on Team Slayer and Arrows. Yeah, Pucket, that was a good play by Walshy, but it may be too little too late. As you said, triggers down, basically has this one sewn up. And check out Hysteria dropping 2 shields, make it 3. Switching ramps now. There's another shot. So all four player shields are down. He starts to clean up his own kills now. Dropping strong side. Looking across the middle. He spot Ogre 2 and Ogre 1. SK cleans up Ogre 1. Now pushing him aggressively. There's Walsh. She drops the shields. Cleans it up with the BR. And that's the game. 50 to 26. Triggers down. Making a statement. And Final Boss has to be disappointed. Yeah, Final Boss just wants to forget about this. I guarantee it. Triggers down stuck to the game plan and really had their way with Final Boss. You're not going to see that every day, so remember it. Well, let's take a look at the stats. Hysteria having a huge game. 15 kills, only 6 deaths. That's a positive 9. But Fear itself, 11 kills, 1 deaths, a positive 10 ratio against Final Boss. Everybody on Trigger's down positive. On the other side, nothing good to talk about. Nobody going positive. Really a disappointing game for Final Boss right there. All right, well, when we come back, it's the Dr. Pepper More To It moment. Today, we'll uh, explore multiple personalities. Also known as Yeah, boy! You know I'm flavor, flavor delicious. Explore my flavor before you miss it. Tu sabes que soy flavor, me dicen flavor. You can discover something new in every sip. You know I'm flavor, flavor delicious. Explore my flavor before When you explore the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. Delicious! The Dr. Pepper more to it moment is coming from Hysteria once again. The opening play, stopping strong side at the Rockets, and then taking out Walshy for the double kill, just setting the pace of the game. All right, so that's it for our match this week. Be sure to come back next week to check out more of the Stride Championship Series. And remember, you can only see it at MLGPro.com.